Baraka Kebe finds himself in a rather strange situation, living inside his truck for two months, waiting for the road ahead to clear. He could turn around and go home, except he has to deliver a container load of food to a customer across the border in the Gambia. I won't get paid until the goods are delivered. I'm following my boss's instructions. If he tells me to stay, then I stay. I'll wait until the border opens. He's not alone. Others have joined the queue, and this normally sleepy border town is bustling with activity, catering to the new temporary residents. Those trying to reach southern Senegal are on the road. Instead of cutting through the border, they have to travel 800 kilometers around the Gambia to get to the south of the country. It's a longer journey, but honestly, I'm not complaining. Every time we enter the Gambia, we keep having to pay off police, border guards, they harass us for money. The blockade has been put in place by the Senegalese Transporters Union. They refuse to pay the Gambia's new increased levy fares to cross the border. Back in February, Gambia's president, Yaya Jame, increased the levy by a thousand percent, from seven to seven hundred dollars per crossing. There are only two major roads leading to the Gambia. Both are blocked, forcing these drivers carrying goods for the Gambia to wait until the end of the blockade. Now, this isn't just affecting Senegal. The blockade is having a direct impact on Gambia's economy. Inside the Gambia, there's a shortage of basic commodities, causing prices on the market to go up. Gambians are getting impatient. For the first time in years, the opposition took to the streets, calling for change. Jame has been in power for the last 23 years. Critics have accused him of mismanaging the economy. He now accuses Senegal of violating international laws by not allowing free movement of goods. For Senegal's government, this is an issue between the truckers' union and the Gambia. The blockade hasn't had an impact on the economy, but for Gambia, these are crucial trading routes. President Jame is under pressure. <laughs> Kebe believes eventually the road ahead in Gambia will open up. Change, he says, is unavoidable. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Karang, Gambia-Senegal border.